Hi, uh, it's your girl, Queen Rebellox. You know, we're going to get straight to the point like a joint. So the session for today, I always get this, always, no matter what. I don't know why. Girl, you so skinny. Oh, my gosh. How do I get skinny like you? What should we doing? First of all, I'm skinny by genetics. I don't like the word skinny. That made me sound anorexic. I'm slim by genetics, okay? I mean, unfortunately, I didn't get the big-ass booty like how my cousins and my mom got. I got pretty much straight black, straight black, straight back with a little bit of a hump. You you, you could kind of see it from an angle, but if I turn this way, you ain't really going to see it. But if I turn it the other way, you, you kind of could see it. If the sun hits it, then you could kind of see the glare. That's... That's how my ass work. So, going back to the whole slim factor, yeah, how do I get slim like you? How do I stay slim? And to be honest, at one point, I was actually running back and forth to the bus because my mom took my car away from me when I was younger, and I was running back and forth trying to catch the buses. Boy, them buses ain't no joke in Florida. I don't know how it is anywhere else, but sometimes they don't wait for you. And I can say that because my mom was... um. A county bus driver. So if you're not at the bus stop, like who going for you? It's either you gonna run and try to run them down, or you're gonna try to run to cross into the streets to try to get that bus because you gotta wait another 45 minutes or an hour to go ahead and try to get home. But it's like, bro, that's how we saying slim. And in Florida, it is hot ASF out here. Okay. Like, literally today, it, is, it was 101 degrees earlier. Like, come on, bro. So back then, it was no different. It was still hot. It was still about 95 degrees. Because the minute you step outside, you're already sweating. Your eyes are crying. Your hair is crying. Your breast is crying. Everything is sweating. So when I was trying to go ahead and catch, my apologies for the loud beat. There is about seven of us that live in this five-bedroom house. So I have to turn on the alarm because my children are artists, creative artists of trying to come outside and play. Sunny who? They're like, oh, how you stay so skinny? Oh my gosh, is this, is that? I want to be skinny like that. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you guys how I stay so skinny. Go live in an area where it is hot no matter what. Um, you're definitely going to feel the heat. As soon as you feel outside, you feel that heat wave. Park your car. Instead of just driving to the location, go ahead and run after a bus. Okay? You guys want to lose weight so bad? Go ahead and run after that bus five days a week, two times a day. I was going to school. So whatever your reason is, doesn't matter. Y'all want to lose weight? Let's do this right now. Go ahead and run after that bus. That sounds like too much, right? Okay, cool. That's no problem. I thought that was a bit far-fetched of an idea, too. I used to go ahead and wind. I would wind my waist 10 times, 10 minutes a day, just so I can, like, control the, um, the baby fat, the muffin top around that area. That's what I used to do, but I've been doing that for years, so... When I whine, it actually work on your core muscles, your abdomen. And I actually do work, but you got to be consistent. You got to do straight 10 minutes of whining, like no breaks. And it is going to burn and it is going to hurt. And the minute y'all feel burning and pain, y'all don't want to do it anymore. But you guys want to lose weight, right? You can start off by doing that slowly. Or, sex. Yo, go in a room, have sex. Turn off the AC. And you start, boy, going to have some nice, hot, sweaty, messy sex. Sex do happen to make you lose weight to an extent. But if you can just turn off that AC, boy, <laughs> y'all just get to work. Or y'all could ride on it. Or you could, like, hit him from the back. Hit him from the back. Doesn't matter. Y'all trying to lose weight, right? Might as well put in the work to lose weight. Come on, like, just do it. Whatever you can do, you can put your mind to it, right? 
I tell people, if you really want to lose weight, you truly, truly want to lose weight, get aloe vera. Yes, the plant is bitter. Yes, disgusting. Yes, slimy. Yes, it has a smell. Yes, it does steam. But guess what? That is the most natural, 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 natural way of losing weight. Why? Because it makes you shit every day, okay? And you need your bowel movements to move through your intestines for you to shit it out. But people don't want to take it. They want to buy the aloe vera at Walmart, and that shit is sweet. That's not good for you. It's false sugar. Aloe vera is bitter. You need some real natural herbal garden roots to go ahead and cleanse out that belly of yours because all that junk y'all be eating all the pum pum wanna be eating on the cocky wanna be soaking i still need to go somewhere and go straight in your intestines so what you need to do you need to get some aloe vera either get some thirsty bee some beam something you need to cleanse out your whole intestines. You don't clean, clean out your intestines. You're not going to lose weight. Or I'm going to sit right there so I wonder why you can't lose weight. So those are the things that I do to be slim. But I don't do it intentionally. It just kept with me. Not the running up to the bus. I don't got no bus. I, I drive. I don't got time for that. Ain't nobody going to be running in no heat in Florida. I'm not doing that. Hell no. Y'all got me messed up. Those times was not fun. So, yeah. People always ask me, oh, my gosh, I want to be skinny just like you. I remember when I was skinny back in my days, and I'm like, oh, God, here we go. But when I say, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to gain weight, quit playing. Why you want to gain weight? First of all, every time I walk down the street, and there's a hurricane or not not a hurricane, like a strong wind and it's really windy. Guess who get blown the fuck away? I do. You think that's fun? You think I like the fact that I have to grab onto somebody that is a little bit heavier than me? Or somebody not even somebody, a tree. I never forget the day when I was young. I was eight years old and I was so light. I was minus six pounds. And it was windy. My mom was watching, you know, care. She was a caregiver for this doctor, this well-known doctor in a condo in Pompano Beach. Man, miss said the wind came over because they have like a big waterfront where you have, you know, you go dock your yachts and your boats and your speedboats and jet skis or whatever. Miss said made a fear for my life. I was. At one point, I was scared of winds. I was really scared of winds because I was getting blown away. And I kept holding on to my mom. My mom was laughing. And I'm like, it's not funny. I'm about to get blown into the water. Like, I was so dramatic. So, you know, being slim has its moments. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm able to fit into small spaces. Like, my body, I don't know about my head. My head, I probably like, I had to do some weird little movement for me to get my head through not saying I got a big head but you know the head is always the issue always but it's like bro y'all want to be slim so bad why why what does it matter let me tell you about being slim go to the store you see small medium or schmedium small slash medium they ain't none in stock. All you have is pure extra large, large, triple X, quadruple X. And they say, boom, no clad. What am I supposed to wear? Am I supposed to just stitch up all my rags together and just create an outfit? Because that's what I feel like. I can't get no bra, no panty, no shirt, no pants. No in. Can't even look sexy. Why? Because everybody want to be small and medium. Why? Why would I want to be small and medium for? I love looking at different body types. I love it. I really do. I ain't gonna lie though. When I did take a birth control, um, I forgot what it's called, Marina or something like that. Marina, mm, something. But it gave me back fat. I was like, bro, what in the blazes is this? I'm slim and I got back fat. Oh hell, no. Mm-mm. 
birth control, your only your only plan in life is to prevent me from pregnancy. Not prevent me from getting pregnancy. I mean, prevent me from getting pregnant. And then, I don't know, oh, congratulations, you did not get pregnant. So here are some bad facts for you. I was livid. And then I started breaking out. I immediately took it out after three months. Just because. <clears throat> I couldn't deal with the side effects. It was too much. Let me tell you another thing about being slim. We always freaking hungry. My my circle. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Queen Rebella, you always stay hungry. Because I am slim. I have a fast metabolism. I'm hungry all the time. You guys want to be hungry all the time because it's not fun. It's not fun being hungry all the time. I'm, I'm hungry right now. And I just started hitting my bone. This is not even a munchie stage. This is just me being hungry. And right when I'm done eating, and I always, you know, go use the bathroom, and I defecate. Guess who's hungry again? Me. So y'all think being slim is so fun. Because you guys get to wear the cutest clothes, and you guys get to show up your body and take pictures. You can still do that in your same body. Love your body, y'all. This is really awesome. But if you guys really, really want to lose weight, do that. Or... You can stop eating, but I don't recommend that because that will psychologically ruin your mind mentally and emotionally, and it will definitely show a significance physically. So, yeah, I would not recommend that at all. I'd rather you guys run after the city bus probably like two times a day, five days a week. That's like your own little personal workout since most people don't want to go to the gym and just lift up some weights. Cool. I totally get it. But that's the best bet. Or you could do the aloe vera. Aloe vera is so good. You can definitely check out my YouTube and how I make the aloe vera because I do mix it with some juices because ain't nobody going to <laughs> no slimy, um, slimy bitterness is going down my throat. I don't even let her or his nut go down my throat. What makes you think aloe vera going to go down my throat? Nope, I put a little sweetness to it. I need some juice. On pasteurized juice, please and thank you. Non-concentrate, thank you very much. Because I love my stuff natural. And I wanted to naturally go down my throat smoothly. So I can go ahead and defecate. So I'm able to cleanse my colon and my intestines. So I can stay slim. So yes. And I be telling people this and they be laughing. But it's the truth. This is how I stay slim. Like I've been slim all my life. The only time I was getting a little bit sick is when I was getting some good cocky from my ex Jamaican like I was getting there boy like six days a week because he was like I you know I have a high sex energy blah blah blah, blah. mister my body to get tick I went from a size two to a size nine all right to me that's tick all right but I'm not getting none I'm not getting nothing good right now no good boom boom no good cocky I'm not getting nothing so, sex, I leave it to Uno. Uno can have sex enough time and lose weight. That's a good cardio, too, you know. But believe it or not, it's really good cardio. Like, it would definitely help you out. Why do I feel like they're going to cut this grass right now? All right, so I happen to move to the backyard. I think you can kind of hear them still. I do apologize. But yes, to continue, another way to lose weight, which I, you know, definitely isn't fun. I happen to went through a traumatic experience where I, um, all right, so you know what? Screw the front, screw the back. I'm in the garage. Hopefully nobody else bothers me. I just, oh my good grief. Anywho, so another and that happened to me was I ended up taking ibuprofen without food and drinking and smoothie does not count you guys okay I did not know that so I happened to throw up so much I threw up bile and blood and then burned out my stomach linings which led me into very deep traumatic experience where I was not allowed to eat solid food for five days. 
which is, let me double check right quick. What did I say? Five days, five times, 24. I wasn't able to eat food for under 20 hours. Only liquid, only liquid. Like down to the part where not even bits of seasoning was able to be visible to the eye. I could not even do that. That's how bad my stomach lining was that I burned out because of medication, over-the-counter medication, which I don't even like taking anyways, but I took it because I'm going through dental pain right now because I have to get a root canal done. So, you know, me having to go through that and then Finally, if I day come, I'm hungry, you thought, you know, I'm hungry, I want to eat food. And there's only a certain amount of food that I'm allowed to eat because, again, burn out the stomach lining. So, you're not allowed to have ginger or spicy food. I was like, all right, great, great. Come a little spicy. Ginger, I really don't care for, but, yeah, it's still good for you. So, I was like, all right. Mr. Bombo Clot, may I see that gal? And I'm not going to say the location, but... The roti shop. If the carrot juice had ginger in it, cause it smelled like ginger, she got my sheet on. And I'm like, can you look for the ingredient? So me and her said each other look for the ingredient. And she already purchased this, and then I did see the word ginger. I took a little sip, you know, just a little sip, little sip. Like it was so small, an insect, such as a mosquito or fly, drink it, and they fly away, and you're like, but I never took anything. That that's how small of a sip it was. Me said bombo clock da me throw up me throw up me throw up me feel lightheaded. It was one party me and my niece they go to. It was the Turks and Caicos party. Um, first one too. Me said, Jesus Christ, I drive away. Pull over to the side of the road. I vomit up everything me eat, including a ginger oil myself, was ginger pomegranate, bread. And then my stomach hurt me again. I didn't go back to the hospital because they clearly told me not to take ginger. And I found out late that there was ginger in it. And I was being stubborn, saying I already paid for it. Let me just get that instead of just buying water. I had to not eat again for an additional 40 hours. So... That being said, it was a total of 160 hours that I went without food. Me say, everyone thought I was anorexic, bulimic, and I'm like, no. I went through a traumatic experience, blah, 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 blah. And it's like now because of that incident, I cannot gain any weight. I tried. I even eat so much like I eat and I eat it. Morning, night, lunch, dinner, fourth meal, 4 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., doesn't matter. I eat, I eat, I eat. Oh, my gosh, how are you eating so much and it doesn't go anywhere? Well, after that traumatic experience of 160 hours of no solid food, like, because I had restart the hours. That's why I told you guys, an additional 40 hours, no food. That right there killed me, bro. It killed me so bad because I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be underweight. So if I'm going to be underweight from supposedly what the charts are saying, whoever made up these charts, I just didn't take natural foods from now on. And I keep up with my smoothies. When you make your own smoothies, that's another way for you guys to lose weight, to be honest. It's all natural ingredients. You guys know what you're putting in there. And I'm so tired of people. Oh, I'm lazy. That's too much work. It's really not. If you guys can go to the store and buy smoothie, like the frozen ones, and you have to wait for it to thaw and all that stuff, you could do it at home. Cut up your bananas, put it in the freezer, in the bag, take it out just like how you would do it with Publix and Whole Foods, and you put it right in the blender. Done it. That's it. Simple, you know, it's really simple. Don't make it complicated for no reason. So, you really want to stay slim? Do that. Aloe vera and smoothie. Eating healthy, you can eat healthy as much as you want to. If you don't follow other protocol of healthy well-being, you're not going to lose weight. But it all depends, like, what are you really trying to lose weight in? Your belly, your bottom, your breast, your face, your back fat. Which one? 
Or you can just try my other proof that it, it's sweat proof. I mean, definitely losing weight proof. Just run after the bus. I'm telling you guys, I'll think I'm lying. Just run after the bus. Run after a taxi. Bro, flag them hoes down. If you guys really want to lose weight, do that. Because you guys on the speed of the process. I know a lot of impatient people that just want to be slim so bad, but they don't want to wait. And it's like, bro, this is not, this doesn't happen overnight. And I'm not talking about plastic surgery. Oh my goodness, nobody can let me be great. My children just interrupted my session in the garage. So now I'm back outside in the front because the people done gone. Cool. All right. He's watching TV and she eating. Okay, let me see if I can done this conversation because this is, oh my God. But yeah, y'all do that. It is so fun. I'm telling you, run after the taxi on a hot day. Don't do it in the rain. I don't think it'll work in the rain because it's already cold and then it's windy sometimes and then it's just the water and, <coughs> excuse me, it could do so much to you. Like, it's too much. These are for the people that want to lose weight, that don't want to do sports, that don't want to work out. This will work. I swear to you, it will work. That's what I do. Dancing and running after. I don't know. Maybe you guys could, like, run after whoever gets you mad and stuff, but don't hold me for it because I'm not going to be able to bail you out for whatever reason. Running from whoever, running from a dog. I don't know. I, I can't pay your hospital bills. I'm still trying to pay off mine. So, this, you know, I'm just giving you a little friendly advice, but do know that if you happen to get into a circumstances or a situation ship, that, that's on y'all. I don't know why I say situation ship. I meant to say situation. That's on y'all. So, yeah. But definitely try those out. You guys will love the results. I swear to you. Not only when you run after a city bus and a taxi, that you're also toning your calves. You're increasing cardio. You're getting your blood pumping right now. And that is the best cardio ever. Just don't overdo it and start trying to be like popcorn and jumping over stuff and being an extra and running on the side of the wall. Don't do that if you're not already doing it. Don't do that. Because y'all, y'all being extra now. Y'all doing too much. But certain positions definitely help you out too. Riding it. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work on the legs. It is so weird because your legs is just laying there and you're just moving your torso up and down, but it's a lot of work. And when you start sweating, boy, mm-mm, you're like, ew, but you're actually losing weight. So you get pleasure for losing weight. Bam, look at that. Yup. Bruh, y'all just hit like two with one. Yo, you, you can't beat that. That's a two for one deal. And you hardly get a two for one deal nowadays. Do that. Or, I don't know, for the people that use vibrators, I don't know. I guess jump on the vibrator? I don't know. I don't use vibrators, so I don't know how that really works. So do something. Or just do a sauna. There you go. Do it in the sauna theme. Go to your bathroom, turn on the light, and put on a hot shower and get like a heater. Sauna, bam, that's it right there. Oh, another thing that people did, which actually works, but it's so annoying, saran wrap. You guys remember that saran wrap trend? You get the saran wrap, and you stop from the middle of your belly, your belly button. Oh, I thought I was my baby crying. I was about to say, yo, why that baby crying like that? Okay, that, that's somebody else's baby, like, house is down. Sorry, y'all. Um... Get that saran wrap and wrap it around your body, around your belly and your back. I think you have to do it, you have to do it tight in the sense where if you slouch, you instantly feel it. So, <clears throat> that works. That works. It really do. I know somebody that did it every single night. They'll saran wrap every night and every morning they'll wake up and their waist is slimmer. And it's actually better than using a waist trainer. That is if you want to pay money on a waist trainer, that's up to you. I already went through one. It was really good. Then I broke. Then I have another one. That one felt like a sauna because I had to have like a sauna effect to it. Saran wrap. There you go. Bam. Y'all, see, 
y'all ain't y'all gonna be so slim. Y'all gonna love your waistline. You gonna love taking pictures now and being comfortable in y'all skin if y'all really wanna be that slim route. Just know for the side effects you might lose some ass, you might lose some breasts. But hey, at least you got that slim waistline and it is how you guys call it. Selfie worthy. Is that what they call it? Photo worthy, picture worthy, something worthy with that aspect. But yeah, y'all could do that. And that one is quicker, actually. If you want a quicker one, you got a saran wrap it. I'm not going to do it because I look retarded saran wrapping myself when I'm already slim. I should have did it for my back wrap, but I was just so annoyed because I want my back to be smooth when I saran wrap it. I don't want it to be like saran wrap bulge, saran wrap, saran wrap bulge. And I just, ugh. It bothers me so bad. It bothered me. Or you could pray to John, the Lord, Messiah, whoever you guys believe in, to have fast metabolism. Because that's truly what it is. Fast metabolism is what really keeps you slimming. Um, I was going to say fit, but most people don't keep up with the fit part, but slim. I know y'all ladies love y'all belly. Saran wrap that hole. Saran wrap all that fat. Sleep at night. And it gonna sweat. You gonna sweat. Your bed gonna be wet. But hey, this is what y'all wanted. I know there's one more that I had to say. Oh, if you have children, let them create chaos. And you run around doing house chores. Run from the bathroom to trying to clean the desiccant off the walls to the floors. Actually, I made them do it. You you made the mess, you do it. I'm just going back and forth with the cooking and making sure you're doing this. And then going to the garage and then putting the laundry in there. Making sure you put the your laundry in there and so forth. Like, I be doing a lot of walking around. And I do not like walking. At all. I used to run after my children. Drive me nuts. One go one way, the other one go the other way. And you're like, bro, which one should I go after? Okay, you're slow, so I will keep up with you. But she's fast. And I don't want to carry the slow one around trying to catch up to the fast one. I might as well go to the fast one first and then have her on lockdown and then catch the slow one. With the tip. You could do that. That's another way, look at that. If you're a parent, run after your children about 30, 40 times a day, and you'll be good. You're going to be really, really tired, mentally, and emotionally exhausted. It'll be so worth it because you guys are going to be slim. So it wouldn't even matter at that point. But there's another key important one. I'm going to have to think about it. Still thinking. Can I hit this moment thing? So I really can't remember what the other one is because I'm too in a deep medita- meditation. Meditation right now. So yeah. But to recap on things, dancing. Go on dance on somebody man, somebody girl. And then you want to keep up with them because they put it in work. So you have to keep up with that energy. You know, you, you can't be don't on the dance floor. And you just put in a little bit of show. Now you have to do the full force work. Now, when I tell you guys these things to lose weight, do not go back and say, yo, Queen Rebel Lux said, no, no, no. We're not doing it at your own risk. If the girl get jealous and want to fight you for it, that's another way to lose weight. She can either knock off the fats off for you, or if you're untouchable, just keep pounding that hole, even though you were wrong. Well, nobody's wrong in that case, because it's just dancing. But keep doing some type of footwork, some type of body movement, dodge, you know, get that, get into that rhythm, you know, like when she's trying to throw punches and he's trying to throw punches at you. You dodge, you move your body so, and you move your body so, and then you kind of duck down, and you kind of arch your back. You know, do all them type of movements. 
Get your body moving. That, that will help you out. If they come after you, that's up to your own risk. I'm only here to tell you how to get slim. Now, the sex one, let me tell you in a second. Sex for the pum pum, okay? For the pum pum and cocky. I'm not talking about no oral sex, all right? Your head movement is not going to make you lose weight. It won't make you hot. It won't make you sweaty. And you won't get frustrated to wonder why the fuck they taking so long to blow a clot nut. All right? That's frustration. You need your whole body to partake in this. So, either jump on it, stand up, have them lift you up, something. You have to get your body active. And you guys think I'm lying. I'm literally look it up. That's why the Indians call it um. I'm going to butcher this name so bad. Hold on before I butcher this name because I really don't want to butcher it. Because the Indians really believe, and I believe in it too. They really are um, into it. Let me look it up right quick. Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra. Principles of an ancient Indian Hindu Sanskrit text on sexuality, er eroticism, and emotional fulfillment in life. That book right there, get that book. I'm telling you guys, look at the position I'm doing. You're like, my, my, I think my body could be in that type of position. Oh no. This, this one I have to go to the gym for. This one my leg can't do them sitting I I heard her leg reach all the way over there so me boom boom. Oh no no what is he doing? Oh hell. That one will make your body in a certain different type of angles which it gets your body moving. You need your body to be moving for you to lose weight, right? You can't just sit there and lose weight. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody come up to me with a foolishness how they sit down and lose weight when they get away from me. You must be wearing vibrating panty or something. Because something has to be going on for you to lose weight. You just can't sit right there. Unless you want to drink the aloe vera like me did say. Drink the aloe vera. Sit down. If you defecate on yourself, that's on you. And that's disgusting. Clean up after yourself. That's the only way that I know it could be working. Or prune juice. You need to shit a lot. For you to lose weight and be slim, but that that karma sutra will definitely help out. I'm telling you guys, and you guys know. For the people that know, wanna know that when you figure out the different sexual positions for you and your partner or partners, you're, you you wanna be having a a freak fest of losing weight. Like it will be a thing, girl. You're gonna love it. So yeah. So that being said. Now you guys know my secrets. Have fun with it. Do what you can to get that body you guys always want. I'd rather you guys do that than to do the plastic surgery. But hey, to each to its own. And I have fun with my little secrets I'm going to tell you. It's all right if you can share with others. I already told you guys. I kept it hidden. I'm sorry. I apologize for not telling Oh, and another one I remember that definitely help you lose weight. You need to have pitney. You get pitney to gain weight, right? You start breastfeeding. Hmm. When that little jaw bite down upon your nipple while you eat it and you're like, yo, baby fool, why me hungry? Literally, when you talk about leeches, I swear to God, our children is our own leeches. They literally suck the energy out of you. And look that one up too. Breastfeeding keep you losing weight. This is my second child, okay? The first one, I was losing weight anyways, but after the math, I did gain weight. The second one, but did gain weight. You want to talk about after three months, no, not three months. After a month and a half, because that's all I could get for a job, for my job, they're like, it looked like you never got pregnant. What did you do? Breastfeed? Let me tell you how much I breastfeed a day. 
Would you guys believe this? This little boy hit me. Go on your mouth and suck up and suck and suck and suck. He used to suck nine ounces every feeding. You think two ounces was gonna hold this new boy? Me say boom buckle like, what kinda a big mommy did push out? Oh, I didn't push him out, but you know, I had an emergency C section because he was so big for my um vaginal va- va- vagina canal that he was eight pounds seven ounces. They said even if I did want it to happen naturally, I couldn't. My walls are too narrow. It would never work. Push our big man. Big man thing, you know. And this boy, nine ounces per feet. And as soon as he came out the belly, two, two, three ounces he won so far for me. I was like, all right, cool. Nine ounces, Mr. Notorati. You're, you're moving too fast. You're, you're not even a month yet. By the time he's a month, it was getting borderline 10 ounces. Now, I'm not talking about 10 ounces a day. I'm talking about 10 ounces every three hours. The boy went yam, he went yam, he went yam. He said, oh my gosh. So me now have to keep eating. You thought I was getting weight when I was eating? Let me tell you how much I breast, how much time I pump. So... The amount of times that I pumped, man, let me tell you. Hold on. Let me hit this. I used to pump two pounds of breast milk a day. But me said my body did tired and exhausted. And the doctor was like, you're going to have to eat more. You have to eat more. You're not going to be able to gain weight because you're losing significantly a lot of weight. And I'm like, oh, God. So I start eating and eating and eating. I'm talking about eating a lot. I eat so much. You can see a change that I'm gaining weight. As soon as I pump the breast milk, two pounds a day. You never know that I was pregnant with two children. I get it. I get the talks all the time. Those are your children? Oh my gosh. Where's the baby fat? I breastfed. A lot. Oh, but I breastfed too. No, I breastfed two pounds a day. And I was doing that for a total of um, four or five months because even though he stopped breastfeeding, it still was going. And I was like, good grief, yo. I was like, uh uh-uh. So, yeah. I was like, you know what? Have you guys really want to lose weight like that? Significantly? Get pregnant and breastfeed. I mean, breast pump. Two pounds a day. Two pounds. And you're definitely, definitely, I promise you, even I feel the, you lose weight. But other than that, you know, I hope my... Secrets was able to go ahead and give you guys some confidence of wanting to still be slim. That is up to you. Love your body. I love your body, even though I don't know you. I love all type of body types. So yes, definitely. As long as it's not harmful to you or yourself, I love it. But if you really want to slim down, do that. Cause you know, it is what it is. Beauty is pain. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all go. I have to go ahead and finish up the session, get these children tired, so I can go to sleep tonight. Sleep can also help you lose weight. I don't know how, but look that up. But yeah, maybe because if you're like running in your nightmare or something, I don't know. It gets your adrenaline going. It's something, but it's not a significant weight loss like breastfeeding and saran wrapping and running after buses and taxi on a hot summer day that's like about 93 degrees outside and then all of a sudden go up to like 96 degrees or just having sex in a hot room. All right, talk to one later. I'll be open my sessions, but I have to go now. Stay blessed and respect.